What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another Timu haul. Shocker. Um, before I get into all of the riffraff that I usually get into, hi, my name is Talia. Um, I'm apparently a Timu addict. And, um, welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, I'm so happy to see you back here again visiting with me and sharing in all my Timu goodies. So, I'm going to open a couple of bags for y'all today. Um, it is part of the multiple, many, many um, orders that are intermingled together. Um, so, one of these bags that I have for you only has four items and another one has three items. Um, but I do have a couple of smaller bags here that I might open, um, as long as time doesn't get away from me. Um, I was thinking about, uh, opening up the one that came today, yesterday, because technically we are early into the morning hours, as I've been having to do here lately. Um, technically it came yesterday, um, on Thursday, yep. Yeah. Today's Friday. Um, it is, in case you're anybody's wondering, it is about 3.52 in the morning. Uh, my boyfriend left a little bit ago to go to work. Um, he's got an early shift this morning, and so figured I would go ahead and get in a Timu haul and um, show you guys what I got before I get some sleep. So, um, so yeah, we're here to do a Timu haul. Um, I have a bag here. I have a big old bag here. It's got big items in it. Um, and a lot of these, the, both of these have bigger items in them. Which is why there's only two items um, in each one. Um, but I specifically chose this one out because I really want to get to it sooner rather than later so that I can put it in my bathroom because it is very much needed. Um, I'm going to get into these. And while I'm opening them, I will tell you guys about my affiliate links and my codes. Um, I am an affiliate for Team Moon, and that means I have a nifty little affiliate link that I can give you as well as a special discount code. Um, if you go through, if you are new to Team Moon, only if you are new to Team Moon, um, go download the app and uh, well if you go to the description box below click on one of my affiliate links um, I have links for the US the UK Canada and uh, Australia and I also have discount codes for those as well and if you go to the link sorry if you if you use the discount code you will get 30% off your first order um, after you've downloaded the app first time user if you go through the link, however, you will get an additional one hundred dollar coupon bundle if you play it. You know, once you place your order. Um, I will also write up underneath where my links and codes are. I will be putting my Fishland and Farmland code. So if you are already on Timu uh, and you play the games, all you gotta do is type in those numbers into the search bar on the main page. And it will take you directly to the game and add me as a friend so that you can get your daily reward. Um, since these aren't order, since these aren't um, like full total complete orders, um, I won't be able to post full order links for you guys, but I will still be posting links to each individual item as in the order that it's shown. If anything is out of stock, when I go to post the links, and I will do my best to find an alternate link for you guys. If I can't do that, then I'll just let you know next to the item that item was out of stock or was discontinued, and an alternate link couldn't be found. Because a lot of times, most of the time, um, if one seller has an has an item, um, because again, it's like Amazon, you have you may have multiple sellers having the same same thing if an item is carried by one seller then 
there's bound to be somebody else selling it as well. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's only the one seller, but you never know. I think sometimes Timu on Timu does limit how many sellers can sell a particular kind of item. I think that's how it works. I that's just my own personal feelings. I don't know anything about it, but I know sometimes there will literally be only be one seller, one listing in the entire website that has an item. So. But then you'll have other items where you have like four, five, six, ten different sellers selling the same type of item. I don't know. But I'll post prices down here um, in the corner like I usually do. And um, I'm, I'm not going to be trying to look on my tablet right now. But I do have my handy dandy little um, document over here that will tell me how much everything is, how much I paid for everything. So, let me get into this, guys. I have been jibber-jabbering far too long. Um, and the first item that we're going to show is in a big square box. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I know what this is. So, this is a soap arm tray. And I got this because I feel like my boyfriend could really use one. Because we eat dinner on the couch. And poor man just has like no place to put his plate whenever we eat. Just making sure there wasn't anything else in there. Um, and this is it, guys. Um, definitely save the... Oops. Something fell. But anyway, um, in a gist, I don't know what that is that fell. I think that is a, I don't know what that is that fell. Um, but in a gist, okay. Was this supposed to be? guess we only have one side screwed in I guess the other side is a do-it-yourself but this is a tray um, that you would put on the arm of your sofa and since apparently only one side came screwed in um, the rest is down there on the floor I just don't feel like picking it up right now um, you put it on your sofa arm like this go over just a little bit you would put it on your sofa arm like this and these right here um they're kind of on a spring so that it'll grip your sofa arm a little bit so as you can see this is definitely on a very very tight spring um so that is gonna have to be um, put together a little bit um but yeah just a nice little sofa tray um, to uh, put put things <laughs> when you're in need and I think I got a either I got a really special deal on this or I need to go back and look let me let me double check on something right quick um, because I want to make sure I wrote down the right price um, Definitely make sure I have I wrote down the right price because I have six fifty written down on this, and I know they're more than six fifty. Just got to find the right order. Um, okay, so I did write the right price down. So I did pay six fifty for this. Um, as of right now, when I'm recording this, um, they do have a rounder one, um, and then they have a square one. The round one is $12.59, and the, this square one is $11.12. So, apparently, I must have got some kind of special deal on it. So, either that or it was a really, really good flash sale. 
So, um, got one of those, and it does, like I said, there, it did come with some other hardware. I just don't feel like picking it up off the floor right now. So, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, sorry. I'm just, I'm trying not to make a lot of noise right now. Um, because it is late slash early. My daughter is sleeping right now. So I'm trying my best to be somewhat quiet. So next up, I think, I'm trying to remember what this is. It might help if I go back to my, um, thing. <laughs> um, please don't tell me this is the utility part. Please don't tell me this is the utility cart. If this is the utility cart, I am going to... Because I really thought it was going to be bigger. I really did. Y'all, this is the freaking utility cart that I ordered. I thought this was going to be bigger. It fits in this little box. It's only a little bit bigger than my head. This is a three-level utility cart. Y'all, I can't. I can't even with these people. So, I got this little um, cart to put in my bathroom. And it's got all your hardware. It's got your, your wheels, which I don't know if I want to put the wheels on it or not. Um, but you got a bunch of your metal uprights and then some little plastic uh i'm guessing these go over the, the very top um to cover up the holes um let me see a thing i don't know if there's really any matter about what the difference is they're gonna go right there before i lose you there it is. I feel like the I, the other one's in the bag right here. I was just looking for it. Um, yes, all these all these are the same. I think they're all the same. So let me see if I can maybe try to put something together real quick. And these these poles are kind of kind of sharp. This is probably going to take some off-screen um, off work. Because I don't even know if I'm putting this together right. I mean, I assume I am. Because there's literally only all these poles. These metal poles that are all the same. And then, oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to have to finish putting this together off camera. And I'll just have to show you a picture of it or something. Um, but so I'm going to put, finish putting this together off screen. Um, this is two of the layers. And then, like I said, it has, has wheels. Um, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be very big. But I really thought, like, at least this... The surface area was going to be bigger. But, any hoozy. Let's, um, let's continue. That was, um, the cart was, wait a minute. Sorry, the cart was $9.99. My apologies. You go right there. And then... I'll put y'all 
in here for the time being. I'm gonna put y'all over here too. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna put up like a picture somewhere. I'm sure y'all have already seen it. But I'm gonna put a picture of from Timu showing what it looks like. So this, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. This is. This is a mug. Pretty sure this is a mug. Yeah. Um. So I learned back before my birthday in March that my birth month flower was a daffodil. And that's ironic to me because we had some daffodils pop up in our yard um, a couple months ago. Um, they have all withered and died by now, but still. Um, this is a different style of mug than what they pictured than what they showed pictured on the listing. And when they showed picture on the listing was a little bit like rounder. It was like a little taller. It looked like it was taller, um, but it was a little bit more rounded. Um, so the fact that I got this, um, if I had known it was going to be this style of mug, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, this is just your standard eight ounce mug. Um, that's really only good for people that don't really drink coffee that much. But this um, was eight dollars and four cents, and I can tell this is definitely an overlay of some kind. It's um, what you would call a um, sublimation, almost not really a sublimation, but it's it feels like it's painted on. Um, it feels like it's painted on. Um, don't get me wrong; it's pretty. Um, it's you have the light purple and the dark purple, um, like gradient color. And it has a daffodil on it. And they did have one for each month. They did, have, they did have a different flower for each month. So, obviously I got a daffodil. But I, for some reason, I, I learned that the daffodil was the March flower. And I'm like, wait a minute, we had some daffodils pop up in our yard. I just thought it was a little funny. And I just, for some reason, I felt like I needed to get a mug. So yeah, I paid eight oh four for that. And again, not happy that it comes that the mug that I got was a different style than what they showed in the listing. So Y'all know I try to keep it real. Back in there. I don't know. I have I have some cleaning out of mugs to do guys i have too many mugs and not enough cabinet space the last thing in this bag is a pancake batter um a pancake batter dispenser And I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I think it's pretty self-evident. Because yes, I totally make pancakes all the time. Not hardly ever, guys. Um, I don't hardly make pancakes ever. Um, but you mix up your pancake batter, put it in there. Um, Preferably, there's a reason why this thing right here is floating around. Okay, maybe that goes like that. Put your lid on, and then you would squeeze this little handle right here, and it opens up this thing. It opens this up um, to let your batter out. So, I'm going to have to look and see what that little purple metal piece is. 
I mean the, the purple plastic piece. I don't know. I have no idea what that piece is. Or why it's why it's floating why it's in there like that. I don't know. If somebody has one of these things and let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. But yeah. Pancake batter dispenser. That was six dollars. barely big enough for the item it's supposed to go in it. So that was all of that one. Like I said, only a few items. Oh, this hall is a hot mess, guys. What happens when you're tired? I should probably stop trying to do these hauls so early in the morning. But, some, sometimes it's the only time I get to do these. So, the next, next package has some shoes in it. Um, and these are just some cute little sandals I got for Abby. Oh my gosh, these things are adorable. They're so adorable. And, I mean, the... The cushion on these, there's some good cushioning. Um, pretty, pretty thick. Um, the suede part feels pretty good. Um, I mean, it's, it's soft. And it's fairly soft. It doesn't feel super cheap. Although I'm sure it probably is. But super cute. Oh my gosh, those are super cute. These are gonna be perfect for taking off, um, like out of the house in the summertime. Pick those up for, her, for my daughter. Sorry, for Abby. That's my daughter's name. <laughs> and yeah, the box got a little, little smunched as they usually do. Like, I don't know why. Like, why do y'all even bother putting them in a box? Because it's not going to survive shipping. So. Those were... 1337 and the only other thing in this bag <laughs> is something that I said I wasn't going to buy another one of from Timu because I've bought two already this is, such a, this is kind of tight in there so it's just easier for me to cut the bag um I've already bought two of these things um different styles but Two of them nonetheless and they have both become unusable uh, one of them I made the mistake of putting them put it in the dishwasher and it shrunk and warped um, and the other one um, the top part of it broke I think um, but basically basically both of them for the most part have to go in the trash but, um, this time I got a 22 piece vegetable chopper and this one, um, is a little bit of a different style. You can see it has like the basket style, um, with the handles and I am not going to be pulling all of this out if I can avoid it. Um, but I will pull out the main piece here. I guess I guess I am pulling out the whole thing. Um, and this was twenty five dollars and nineteen cents. This thing is heavy. This thing is a considerably heavier than the last ones I got. Oh, and this one has a nice. This one is like all in one. Like you can actually like close it up and store everything away. Like it has the the locking lid. This actually has a lid that you can enclose everything in. This is nice. Like it's done, it's in its own box where you can store everything together. I did not even know that, but I am glad that I know it now. So 
um, has the lid that lifts open like that. You have like a grater here and then you have your chopping thing right here. Um, the reason I wanted to make sure to get the chopper that had the small, the small grid um, chopper plate in there because the other one broke um, and the one that I had. So, how do you get into this? Everything locks together, guys. I am thoroughly impressed. Everything locks together. Um, it has the basket um, that you can take out and everything just fits, fits neatly in there. Um, you've got one of these right here. Guys, be careful of these. These things are crazy sharp. Um, one came with one of the other ones that I got. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be sharp. It, it's made of like the cheap plastic, but it is super sharp. Great for potatoes. Um, and you've got like a little vegetable grabber thing. I still got the other one, um, but you got the vegetable grabber. Like I say, if you got an onion that you need to slice, just kind of plop that down on it and then it'll save your hands. Um, comes with a nice little brush for cleaning. So that's neat. I love how I said I wasn't going to take everything out, but what am I doing? I'm taking everything out. Um, this is an egg separator. Um, and then you have another piece to this thing right here. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, you can divide this little basket thing. Um, you see that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you see that right there on the side? You can divide the basket. That's cool. Did not know it did that. Or at least I, if I did, I forgot. Um, then you have all of your chopping plates here. Different sizes. You've got your squares. There's some long ones in here for cutting, like, fries. Um, this is... I'm guessing these are the feet. Um, just some, some rubber pieces in there. Um, and then you've got... Um, all your different grading blades for different for different grading. There's your there's a slicing blade. There's a large grater. Um, not me not grater. That's um, I think that's maybe like if you want to make waffle fries or something. Um, there's another slicer and another another grating. All of these fit inside like neatly inside everything comes in a box y'all there's a box that everything fits into and then there was a little plastic piece this right here this looks like a this looks a, a little like a little funny gadget but this is absolutely necessary for getting out You got your little thing right here. Don't go anywhere. You got your little thing right here. That's what pushes the stuff through. This is absolutely necessary for getting between these little squares. Absolutely necessary. I still have mine sitting over there by my coffee maker. <laughs> but that is totally cool. And if it's in there right if it's right in there with your little your little blades in the box this is so cool i love how all of this goes together like you can store it together i, I love how you can store all this together wait a minute Wait a minute. Hold on. So this isn't... Wait a minute. I'm totally lost. I Y'all, I thought this was for... Um, splitting this up, but it opens up. So I'm thinking... I'm going to have to look at this. Because it doesn't actually fit in here. I mean, it does, but it's it 
up kind of high. So this must be for putting on top of the basket. I don't know, maybe? Ah! It's gotta be. Not mentioned on that side. I don't know, guys. Here, wavy slicer, grinder, slicer. Well, I don't know what this is. This has got to be for like sitting on top of the basket. I don't know. That's that's an in, that's interesting. Like it doesn't fit exactly on there. But that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know. But if it's in there. But yeah, everything folds neatly up into this. Can't forget that. Of course, sometimes you might need to <laughs> do a little tetrising to get everything to fit in there. But brush, again, a brush, vegetable peeler. So yeah, this is super neat, guys. I am, I'm so happy that I bought this one. Like it literally, like everything you can store inside inside the the actual thing and it has a box it has a lockable box like y'all seriously definitely get you one of these and this little handle right here is rubber so this is really heavy duty guys i am really hopeful of this. I'm really looking forward to being able to use this. So I am really looking forward to that. So that was all that was in that one box, that one bag, sorry. And since we still are looking good on time, I'm going to open up these uh, small bags here for y'all. And I did tell y'all the vegetable chopper was $25.19. And I feel like I've gotten at least one or two price adjustments on that. Don't hold me to it. So, <laughs> a bag within a bag. That's always fun. So this, what number, I could just open it and see what this is, and then I can find the appropriate listing for it. Oh, okay. I know what this is now. This, oh, I need to go down a little bit. Okay. So this is just a cute little flashlight that I got for my daughter. Um... Back last Easter, was it last Easter or Easter before last, um, I had gotten her a little flashlight thing at the dollar store, and it had where you could lit up different colors, and it had like this prism thing, and it was really cool, and so I saw these on Timu, and I thought I would maybe try to get her another one, so this is, this, this is very light. Like, this weighs almost nothing, guys. It's very cheap. Um, has the cap, which just literally just pops off. Super great idea for something that you give to kids. Um, and you put batteries in it, and it lights up. Wait a minute. What is this for, then? If you don't put batteries in it. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's an open space in there for some reason. Um, but I guess that it doesn't need batteries or it already 
comes with batteries included, but it just lights up different colors. I don't want to leave that on too long for anybody that might have um, epileptic seizures or anything like that. So just a really cute little flashlight thing for her. Um, this was a dollar and 25 cents. So dollar store equivalent, but yeah, pretty much dollar store quality. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused about why like this literally just pops off like, and you just have a good compartment in there. I, d I don't get it. Anyway, just super cute little flashlight for her. And I think they had um, a couple different colors, but it was like random which one you got. While I'm looking in that bag, like there's supposed to be something else in there. So next, um, this is a, a, a set of nail things. And this is a nail dehydrator and primer set. So you have one of these is the dehydrator. So this is your primer. And this, if I can get it out. And this is a nail dehydrator. So I think maybe that um, especially by using the nail dehydrator, it'll make it easier for the false nails to stay on um, because it'll give it a little bit more, like the glue will be able to set into the nail a little bit more. So, picked up that and for the set was $3.14. So, y'all... <laughs> Part of me doesn't even want to upload this haul because this is such a hot mess. I think I know what this is. Um, I don't want to cut too far across, even though I think it's like way down here. Um, so this, if you saw my um, Shan haul, you will have seen a pair of earrings just like this. And I'm interested to see if the quality is any different or if it's the same. Y'all, just pulling these things out. These guys, these things are so much softer. The ones I got from Shane were so stiff and just so cheap. These guys, these feel like genuine, like suede leather. They're so soft. And obviously you can tell they're much more... There's so much more movement in them than the ones that I got from Shein. Um, no comparison, guys. These are so much nicer than the ones I got from there. And I'm so glad that I actually ordered these from Timu. Um, I had to wait on these things for so long. They're so popular. And even the listing that I got these from, they had probably at least... I want to say at least eight different colors in them, but this... Um, this brown color was the most popular by far because it always went out of stock first. And even now, it's discontinued again. Or it's either discontinued or it's out of stock, I remember. Like all of them are out of stock. Um, so, if by chance it happens to come back in stock in the next couple of days, I will post a link to it. But as of right now, these are not available but they will come back in stock eventually um but yeah these are so much nicer than the ones i got from Shein. those ones from Shein are probably just going to go straight in the trash um oh yeah <laughs> definitely more fun but yeah these are so much nicer like this you can tell like this leather uh suede right here um, I know it's probably not real, but it feels like a genuine suede leather. It's just, it's so much softer, it's so much more movement than the other pair. And I know, I don't, I don't want to keep, um, saying the same things over and over, but y'all, 
I could tell as soon as I reached in to get these out of this pack that they were going to be so much nicer than the other ones. So yeah, if you're going to get them, get them from Timu. So, um, and those, where are you? Um, those were a dollar and ninety nine cents. And that was literally all they put in the package. So one more sm little small package here. Um, what is the tracking on this? Seven, four, eight, seven. Um, I, I did. <laughs> I wrote down every single package that I was waiting on, waiting on. And I wrote down everything that was in that package. Um, and you guys let me know how you feel about me doing it this way. Um, do you care how much I paid for it? Um, or do you just want to see me put the prices in the corner like I usually do? Okay, so there's a, quite a few things in this package, so let's get through them. There are six different things in here. So the first up is a an eyeliner. And this, I think, is this the same thing? Two-in-one gel eyeliner. I think this is a darker brown than the one I got before. Or maybe it's the same thing. But this is a, it says a two-in-one gel eyeliner. Let's see what the two-in-one is. I'm curious. Well, let me show it to you first. Not like you're going to be able to see much, but it's a two-in-one gel eyeliner. This is a dark brown. Um, I'm not sure what the two-in-one implies. Um, maybe it implies that it's an eyeliner and a, I don't know, an eye eyebrow pencil. I'm trying to pull the plastic off of it and it's like literally like spiraling off like little bit by little bit any day now there we go um and this was um a dollar and 49 cents so now that I've got that pulled off I might be able to see it a little bit easier I like that little the lady they've got on it <laughs> I've never seen packaging that has a, a lady on it um it says it's waterproof. Uh, crayon contour de you eye pencil. <laughs> Alrighty. I pulled the cap off of it and the whole tip tip was broken off. I don't know where that's gone to. Hopefully I don't step on it. Okay. So twist it back up here like the whole tip of it guys was broken off is it gonna come up oh my gosh this thing is it doing anything or is this one that you have to um I am confused. I am very confused. So apparently, I mean, this comes off, but it doesn't do anything. So is this one that you have to, I think this is one that you have to actually, um, sharpen like a, like a pencil. I don't know. Without looking at it, let me see if I can find out anything about it right quick. Um, yeah, it's not telling me anything. So I'm guessing you have to... Um, sharpen this like a pencil. So I guess I should probably get an eyeliner... Um, eyeliner pencil sharpener. So, but anyway. I wish I could show it to you, but... The whole tip was already broken off when I took the lid off. So, it's a dark brown. <laughs> so, 
Anywho, this was a dollar and forty nine cents. Next up, so this is some mascara that I heard someone mention, and I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was hauling it with Mima. I don't remember who it was that mentioned it. Um, but they had a different. She had a different color. Of this. This is some Seven D mascara fiber lashes, um, and this was. This was two dollars and ninety-eight cents. Um, and they did they did show in the listing. There's like different colors of the packaging, but it's all the same. It just it's random which color they send you. So this has the the really the kind of the really bristly fluffy brush. Um, and these are. The best kind of brushes in my eyes. They're really like the brushes that are really sparse are not good for um, adding volume to your lashes. So yeah. So we're gonna try it and see. I have to see what I think of it. Um, I have to go to work not today, the day that I'm recording this, but tomorrow, and I'll try it out tomorrow and see how I feel, how I feel about it. So next up, this is, what is this? Oh, I think this is a watch. I think this is the watch. This is one of two of uh, watches that I have in this order, in this package. They weren't technically from the same order. Actually, yes, they were. <laughs> I take that back. So this is an adjustable watch um it kind of um it fits on like a bracelet it's adjustable really pretty they have these in several colors that you could get um, and i got it in the kind of silvery gray color so let's try this on um but like i said it is adjustable I just, and it has like the satin, satin cording. I just worry that, um, that is going to slip, um, as you wear it. Yeah, see, it's already getting loose. Yeah, see, that's already, it's already gotten loose just from movement. So, I don't know, like, how would you, I mean, there's no way to lock it into place. So, I mean, the satin cording is nice. I mean, maybe would I have to tie this in a knot, maybe, to keep it from moving around? So, but it's nice, but you probably would have to tie it up in a knot um, if you have the room to do so. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I think so. I have it on upside down, but I have it, but it's nice. So, yeah. I so said they had this in several different colors you could get. And it's nice as somebody with a big wrist, it is nice to be able to find something like this that is looser. Um, because while I used to wear regular like wristwatches with the strap, um, in my younger days, like even up until like it was in my twenties, um, nowadays I can't do it. I can't stand anything tight on my wrist. So super pretty. And this was, this was $3.99. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just hoping I'm looking at the right thing. Oh, no. This one was $3.49. So, apparently, there are two other watches in this, in this particular bag. So, let me unknot it and uh, take it off.
So next up, this is one of the other watch watches, um, but this is a ring watch. And this, I definitely know, this was $2.99. And they have this in a couple colors, not just the one. Looks like a little miniature, um, like the, the watch band with the, the stretchy elastic uh, bands. It's so cute. That is so cute. And of course, I got it in purple. So... This is a digital watch. And it just looks like a mini, like one of these miniature watches. Like, that has that kind of stretchy band like that. So cute. This is kind of small, so I would probably have to wear it on one of my small fingers. Um, so, yeah, that might pinch. If you have a bigger finger, it's probably going to pinch. Yeah. Um... So, I got it on my pinky. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to put it on my ring finger on this side. It's kind of tight. I mean, it, it pinches. So, can't put it on my ring finger on that side. Because that's just weird. So, so I can put it on my pinky without it feeling uncomfortable. Um, but, yeah. Just something cute. Yeah. And, obviously, it needs to be set. Because it is not... 820 <laughs> is definitely not 820 so next this I think might be the cuticle oil yes so this is um, some coconut cuticle oil I just I really thought this was gonna be a little bit bigger but just the cutest little package of coconut oil Does it smell like coconut? And I am trying to actually start using uh, cuticle oil again. It smells like coconut. It's kind of a vintage smelling coconut though. It's not like a straight, wow, it's coconut. Cause to me, when I smell like straight up coconut, it always reminds me of like the tanning lotion. That's just me. But this doesn't smell like tanning lotion. This just smells like a weird offshoot of coconut if you know what I mean so and it comes in this roller has like a roller on top are you gonna come out there you go so just some cuticle oil I don't know if you can see that but I did put some cuticle oil on there might as well do it all on all of them. It doesn't come out a lot at once. It's literally just like a little bit. Of course, you don't want a lot on there at once. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it smells like an offshoot of coconut. Like, it's it smells coconut. You can tell it's coconut. But it doesn't smell like tanning lotion. <laughs> Which is my definition of coconut. So some cuticle oil and I said that was a dollar and 79 cents for that and I want to say they had a different kind um, it wasn't just coconut I think they had another flavor if you will um, I don't know if I feel like looking for it right now I'm not gonna looking for it right now because I tried to go back into my order list again and of course it started me up at the very top and at the very top are a few orders that I just placed the other day um, that are still preparing to ship. So, I don't feel like having to keep scrolling all the way back down. So, the last thing in this package is the last watch. Um, the last of the three watches that I have. Um, and this one is just really, really sweet. This is really pretty. Um, this is just a chain style, bracelet style watch. Um, and they did have a couple, several different colors you could buy in this as well. I just liked the silver because I feel like silver can go with so much. So really pretty. And I 
can't tell right off the bat if I'm putting this on upside down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it does have the adjustable, um, like that. Which can be tricky to operate one-handed. <laughs> this there we go so yeah really sweet really pretty and I don't think this one is gonna slide down like the other one does like the other one did so yeah really pretty I do like this so one way or another guys I'm gonna have a watch to wear so and this was a th this was $3.99 three dollars and 99 cents so but i think that's it um that's going to be it for this particular haul um i apologize if it's a bit of a hot mess that's what you get when you're doing a timu haul when you should be sleeping so um but yeah um i got some cleaning up to do and then i'm going to go head off to bed that's it guys. I'm going to clean up and I'm going to get some sleep and I will see you guys again real soon. And until then, be good. Oh, um, don't forget, if you are a subscriber, if you previously have subscribed to me, make sure that you're still subscribed because YouTube apparently likes to unsubscribe people. So definitely check on that and make sure you're still subscribed. Um, but again, I will see you guys later and until then, be good. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.